What about the breastfeeding? Early breastfeeding should be encouraged and supported. This in fact prevents the hypoglycemia in the newborn and promotes a good bonding between the mother and the baby. The breastfeeding protects against the occurrence of infant and maternal complications such as it reduces the childhood obesity, it reduces incidence of type 2 diabetes and helps the postpartum weight loss in the mother. Treatment with insulin or oral hypoglycemic drugs may be started even in the breastfeeding phase as the secretion of these drugs is negligible in the breast milk and does not affect the quality of the milk nor the health of the newborn. So she should be encouraged breastfeeding even if she is on oral hypoglycemics or insulin. The importance of testing and the procedure is you can figure out if the patient's lifestyle, weight reduction, uh, the diet control, etc. have helped her regain her pre-pregnancy normal sugar or she continues to be a persistent diabetic in which case her discipline on lifestyle should be much greater and maybe she may require some medications long term. These women should be especially counseled for hypoglycemia status as well. Healthy eating not only around the time of delivery but also way beyond that. So this lifestyle modification is hugely important with the weight reduction maintenance of the breastfeeding and initiation of some method of family planning or the other is a must. Newborn of the mother with gestational diabetes, if it's born prematurely, it can develop respiratory distress. The neonates are at increased risk of morbidity and mortality because of a harmful metabolic in utero environment and may need an intensive care admission.